This is Bill Oasis and Kitty. Oasis? No, just Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our 14th day in our new revel. Uh, we've been living in it for 14 days and um, we would moved out of our house um, and that last bit of the move where either throw it away or we put it in the van so our van is kind of chocked full um, and we have a few few insights in living in this thing uh, for 14 days uh, and we have two small dogs as well um, first off kitty how do you like it i love it i do it's, i like it more than i thought i'd like it now you are, are, are have you are, have you been a camper all your life? No. You you have you, so you didn't like camping. Didn't like camping, but somehow with this revel, it works out pretty well for it you. It does. It's perfect. Perfect and, size. Takes getting used to. Uh, doing a lot of bumping, hitting, bumping heads. Got a black eye, um, but I think it's working out really well. Um, one of the things that we both have found out is that it's um, it's probably not the best thing if you if you're prone <laughs> to uh, to what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Clumsy. Clumsy. Um, you you have to kind of go slow because there's always something behind you. Uh, but we seem to have worked it out, and I know for me, I was excited about the van in the beginning, and after. 14 days of living in it, I'm even more excited about it. Um, we've been staying at campgrounds the whole time, uh, mostly state parks, which I highly recommend. Uh, first Florida uh, at uh, Lake Griffin, and then we went up to uh, South Carolina, where we stayed at the Santee State Park. Then we went to the PD State Park in um, uh, Georgia. Uh, we went up to North Carolina um, on our way to Savannah, uh, and uh, a little later on you'll see some pictures. One of the things I love about this van is I can park it in any parking spot. Um, I was driving it around in small, tight, little downtown Savannah in the historic district, um, and found a place to park, um, parked it, almost no problem. Uh, how about you? How has it been for you for, um, for instance, cooking? Cooking's well, been fairly easy. It's an induction cooktop. Uh, I had to get used to cooking in one big pan. I could do two small ones, but it's easier just, I found, to make everything in one pan. Um, and the cooking part of it isn't been too bad. There's enough room for cutting up and putting stuff in and uh, quick meals. It's a learning process. Uh, but the meals are, are have been delicious, actually. So, um, I mean, she's she's a really good cook. So, her, her learning process is... Um, not that good. They're delicious to start with, and so they just keep getting better. Um, now, a lot of people would say, well, the bathroom's pretty small. How, how has that been for you? No problem. No problem. No problem. no problem using the bathroom. Hey, now, what about the shower? You've used that. I've used the shower. The only problem was my hair is very thick, thick, thick hair, and using it in a situation where you're worried about how much water you're using is hard. So, um, but if we were hooked in and we could empty it quickly, then the shower's fine. You know, it's it's small. You have to sort of rotate as you're doing it. Um, but it's, it's a workable shower, and for me, that's, I shower every day, so. And it's, it's important for you to shower every day. Absolutely. And I so, um, there, there have there been uh, a few places that were not state parks that we stayed at, where the facilities were just not up to standard, and you took a shower in the van, yes. and it was fine. Yes, it was absolutely fine. There was no problem at all. And uh, the dogs have gotten used to it. At first, we had the dogs on the bed, which was a huge mistake. The bed is just not big enough. Um, there'll be a little bit uh, to show you what it's like. Um, I do have to crawl over her to go to the bathroom at night. I'm an older guy. And, okay. and yet, uh, yet, I'm fairly nimble, so I crawl over her and, and use the restroom, crawl back, 
no problem. Uh, I have yet to pinch her. I have yet to do anything to her. Um, exactly. And so, right? Yeah. So uh, that's worked out pretty well. And I think for both of us, we will, we keep saying, we'll, we will do this until we no longer can. And I think that's a big thing for lots of people. Keep doing this until you can't. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, just leave them on the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.